In today's video, I'm going to give you a few solutions or a few fixes to the PlayStation error code WS116483-3. This is essentially a problem connecting to the server, and it commonly happens when you're trying to install a game. So you might be on the PlayStation Store, um, trying to install some kind of game here, and it's going to give you that error code for whatever reason. Now, it's actually a pretty easy one to go ahead and fix, but you need to follow the steps I'm going to teach you on screen to go ahead and do it. So I'm going to start off with the easiest methods and I'm going to walk you through them and then gradually go to more advanced methods if those don't work. Now the first method you want to do is of course make sure you're signed into your PlayStation here and you want to go over to your settings tab. Now from settings we want to go down to users and accounts and from here we want to go down to other. Now we have a setting here called restore licenses and sometimes this setting here can mess things up weirdly. So what you want to do is click into there and you want to go ahead and restore the licenses. So it basically says if you become unable to use content you downloaded from the PlayStation Store, there might be a problem with the licenses for the content. Try restoring the licenses. So when you press restore, it's going to take, you know, two, three, maybe five minutes to go ahead and do this. And this sometimes can help you out. It's a real game changer for a lot of issues on the PlayStation. So give that a go and let me know if that works. Now, if it doesn't, we'll go into the next step of the video. So the next step I'd recommend is going below that setting and going to sign out. Now, once you do that, it's going to sign you out of the PlayStation. And sometimes if you sign out, it can sign when you sign back in, it can kind of give you a little bit of a fresh start and reset everything. So the settings are working. So go ahead, try and sign out and try and sign back in. And that can help. Now, another way you might be able to solve this issue is in the network settings. So we're going to go over to network and you might want to try and reconnect your Internet. So delete the connection and reconnect up. This again can help. Sometimes there's some like weird firewall settings. Uh, so if you do that, that can help set it up. You can also go ahead and add a static manual IP on your connection. Um, I have a full video about that on the channel if you want to go ahead and look how to do that. That can also help. Sometimes you've got weird errors with that. Now, another thing I'd recommend is make sure that your PlayStation is up to date. So go ahead, press the middle button, go down to downloads, and you can go see here if there's a system update. Now, if there is, you will want to go ahead and make sure it's updated. Uh, sometimes versions of the store and versions of games, if they're not compatible, they're not going to work, and that can give you the error as well. So those are a few solutions to this error. If you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below that it helped, and let me know if there's any other videos you'd like me to make, either about PlayStation or any other games in particular. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.